Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today is another figure card video and this one is all about relationship prison and what you need to move on with your life and finally be able to feel free from this past relationship or even present relationship for some of you but what do you need to do to be able to move on if you don't want to be with them anymore. Alright, so this is going to be group number one, two and three and just concentrate on the cards or the crystals whichever one resonates with you the most it's most likely the right one but of course you can always watch the full video and like I always say you can always connect contact me leave a message or send me a private email if you need something more specific to you this is going to be general but still I'm um, hoping it will resonate it in some way and if it does do let me know leave me a comment or like I say send me a message if you prefer Okay, my details and the cards that I use will always be in the description below. Again, concentrate on the cards and concentrate on what do you want to do, how do you want to move on in uh, group number 1, 2 and 3, timestamp will be below. Thanks very much for watching. Group number 1, if you chose this lovely crystal, we leave it here to help us out. Your cards are... Five of Swords, Six of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Hermit, and we also have um, a new start is coming, New Moon here, the Oracle card for you. Alright, group number one. Very interesting here is showing straight away the five of swords here which is showing conflict and um, you know someone using of a way that you know didn't help you out uh, and maybe fights and miscommunication and stepping away I don't know if you already did or this is your guide for today is to really step away from the situation because sometimes we will we do need to see from a different perspective to be able to actually understand why it's happening and uh, the six of cups here showing maybe some of you have been with this person for a while or you know they are they are, you really feel like they they were a soulmate or something like that is holding you back like some kind of nostal nostalgia and it's being hard for you to move on when you think about it, if you're not with them anymore, or if you think about leaving them, if you're still with them, you're thinking of that way, you've been then with them for so long, and it's really hard. So this page of swords is here showing you that you can come with this sword and cut away, really, because it's not serving you, and uh, to really take time for yourself. This is the hermit here showing if you wanted to walk away, you will have a new start that is coming really soon with a new moon. We actually have started, we are on a new moon now these days. And uh, if you wanted to manifest something, if you're still stuck in that relationship, it's for you to not fear because you will have time for yourself here with the Hermit card. It's like take time for yourself, go into a retreat, meditate, and it's really time to concentrate on, on yourself, like be selfish think about you put yourself first and the new begin is here for you so there is a new way here I know it's hard when maybe some of you like I said have been with the person for a while or think about this as like a nostalgic way but it's the conflict here the way the miscommunication was really big and the first card here is showing the way around here is stepping away walking away like step away from the situation it doesn't mean that you'll never be with this person again if they are meant to be, they will come back. You know, when you release someone and they really are the one for you, they come around, maybe they need to grow, maybe they need to understand who they are first. And maybe this Hermit card is for the two of you, in going away and learning and uh, growing. And then a new beginning. A new beginning could be with a new person or could be the, a new phase of the relationship. You just need to take this time away first to understand. So I'm not saying you're never going to be with this person, but it is time to 
walk away, step away from the situation to be able to see with a different perspective. All right? Cut away what is not serving you. Attitudes, situations, places, and people. So it's really not serving you in this case, at least not now. Like I said, don't think this is a final thing because a new beginning, like I say, it could be the same person or it could be like a new beginning with someone else. But it's up to you, of course, it's your decision and uh, it, we have the willpower to change or not, but don't expect anything in this relationship to change if you, if you don't act, if nothing is it's happening because you cannot expect something different if with no action. No action is also a decision, a decision to stay away the same way as it is. And if you're not happy, then the step away, the moving forward will have to be the way. Like I say, time for yourself, put yourself first. It's number one here. All right. So it's time for you and a new beginning is coming. So it's coming. It's like it's, it's your chance. I feel like for some of you, this is the time. In the, if you take it, you will be able to to take care of yourself if, if you're worried about that don't worry other there, there will be other things manifesting your way move on on your own if you need to so don't worry you have the higher powers the universe protecting you and guiding you in your way as well okay so let me know if it resonated in some way but just know that a new beginning is very very close to you when it's just a matter of you acting on it let me know if it resonated. If it did, I'm going to be really happy to hear from you. Thanks very much for watching. Group number two, if you chose this beautiful green crystal, we'll leave it here to help us out. What do you need to move on from this relationship prison? The cards we have here are the two of swords. We have the five of cups. We also have the Four of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands. And also an Oracle card here, which is Conclusions are within reach, Full Moon Eclipse. Okay, this lovely card here. Okay, okay group number two. Right, so I can see straight away with this card here the two of swords this has not been a, an easy decision for for you at least for some of you it has been really hard and some of you it still didn't make the decision yet you're still um, inside that relationship it's just something that is going over and over in your mind it's been really hard on you it's taking a toll on you but it is up to you of course but it's if you wanted to move on it's this card here is really clear. It's all about what you concentrate on, right? So it's really time to focus on the things that you, you have instead of the things that, that you don't have or that you will not have in case you, you want to end this relationship in case you didn't yet. Or even if you did, to stop concentrating on what you had before, what it could have been, what ifs. Nothing like that can help you out, really, not to to have progress, not to move on. So it's really about concentrate on what you have, what are your goals, what are the things you still want to do, what are the things that this relationship stopped you from doing, and you still want to do it. It's not too late, you can do it. So concentrate on that, make sure you focus on yourself, focus on the things you have, all your strengths, all the good things you have, the family, maybe the friends that you have around you, or the friends that maybe they are not around you because of this relationship, they they went away from you, but they still your friends, they still um, love you, and you can go get in contact again with the people that love you in case you got away from them because of the relationship. So it, it really is about focusing on yourself because I can see here with the Four of Swords as well, you will have that time to rest, you will have the time to finally rest and, and be happy have time for yourself and uh, have a time to recuperate really from anything that have been going on with you that didn't bring you to a good place and you will once you really concentrate on yourself you will have that time to then relax a bit and you know 
regain your strength and understand that uh, you can move on. It's time to just, you know, breathe again and recuperate. Like I said, have really the time for yourself. Think about yourself. Put yourself first, definitely. And you will have that time once you start concentrating on yourself. Like I say, once you make a decision in case you didn't yet and concentrate, focusing on yourself, your strengths or the people you still have around you, focus on the good things that you have. Focus on the good things you can do without this relationship. Not not looking back, not thinking what if, what I could have done, I didn't do. This, this really, it's living in the past this is all about moving forward, being able to progress here with your life, not getting stuck anymore. It, it is a relationship prison, even if you're not in a relationship anymore, but you're still stuck in your mind. So this is all about moving from that time, uh, that mind frame and the, about thinking about that time over and over in the past is really about concentrating on the future of what you have, what you can do, and uh, what you can build, because maybe you are thinking, I don't have anything. Well, you can build. You can. You will have the time. You will have the time to relax and concentrate on yourself. And this card here is a beautiful eight of wands. It really means many opportunities, many options coming your way. It could be new love. It could be career, a different uh, you know, perspective. Definitely many different options coming really fast. This is fast motion, this card here coming your way. Once the mind frame is changed, it's just a snowball effect and then things will come, will come your way. You will have first the time to, to breathe a little bit and concentrate on yourself with this card here. This is like a progress really. And you can see here it's beautiful with this card here that uh, the... The, with the moon here, you know, the conclusions are within reach. So it's really close to you. These conclusions, in case you didn't finish yet, or even if you did, but you are still stuck in your mind and your thoughts, the conclusion is really within reach. It's, the, it just, it's just there for you. It depends on your actions, of your you putting yourself first. That mind frame that uh, you know what to do, you know what you want, set your goals and uh, you will have that time, like I said, to don't don't rush into anything. But once you put your mind into uh, really concentrating on your goals and yourself, you will have that time to to you know gather your thoughts and uh, meditate, being able to plan your next steps and your goals and organize your thoughts, organize your like I say, your next steps, what you want to do where you're going, if, it's, if you needed to move, maybe some of you needed to move place, a house, even job, some of you. So just uh, make a plan. So you will have that time. Don't worry. Once you set your mind, once you decide and concentrate on yourself, you will have that time. And then after that, the snowball effect will start with all the options coming your way. It's, it's unbelievable how we, we can change things when we start acting and we really put our minds into something like you, if you put your mind into your goals and yourself first and concentrate on what you want, other doors will open for you. Other people will appear, other situations. You will see that it, you will be, you will not even remember anymore how this bad feeling you were having at the time of looking back and what ifs. It's really about letting go of what could have been, because that's not how it happened, but it also was a stepping stone for you to learn, to grow. And now you know what you don't want in a relationship. Now you know what, uh, how, put, how to put yourself first, how to, you know, definitely find someone who is aligned with your goals and the things you like. So it's not easy, it's not happy, but it's something that uh, it does make us grow. And the conclusions are within reach. It's really close to you. It's like it's like within reach. You can just touch it, the the effect that this will take, and the, like I say, then the options will start coming your way. And definitely concentrate on yourself. Don't worry too much. Put yourself first, and and the other things will will come into effect. So 
like I say, maybe some of you are worried where you're going next, if you have to move or um, maybe you're living together, you know your situation, of course. I'm not saying this is easy, but this is all about putting yourself first and all the other things will come together, okay? Don't worry, this, this eight of wands is beautiful here and this card here showing that the conclusions are really close to you, are within reach and you have all the options coming your way that will start coming your way once you start moving the other things will move your way as well if it's if it's a need of changing job house you know what will be the effect of this but the other doors will open your way so don't think too much on the past think on the really on the future concentrate on yourself put yourself first and you'll be able to move on and the other doors will open for you definitely so once you put yourself first once you concentrate and make your goals, the other things will start coming and they will come pretty fast. All right. So all the, the doors will open at once and you will be able to see very clearly and you will not have any doubt that you made the right choice. OK, so group number two, put yourself first. That is number one here and um, all the other doors will come your way. So don't worry too much of what will happen. I you know, two ahead, if you're thinking you're stuck because of what you don't know, what will, what will happen, the doors will open for you, okay? So just put yourself first and start moving, and the other things will move towards you as well, okay? So the conclusions are within reach, remember that, okay? Group number two, I hope it resonated with you in some way. If it did, let me know. I'm going to be really happy to hear from you, or if you want to send me a private message, I understand in case you don't want to, to just leave us a message. But if you do, I'm going to be really happy to hear. Let me know. And uh, again, all the best and um, put yourself first. Okay. Thanks very much for watching. Group number three, if you chose this beautiful crystal here, we leave it here to help us out. What do you need to move on from this relationship prison? We have here the Five of Pentacles. We have the Karma, which is also the Judgment card on other, or on other decks. Eight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. And we also have the Oracle card, Don't Let Pride Get In Your Way, Full Moon in Leo. Okay, very lovely cards here for you. Group number three, what do you need to move on, right? So I see here straight away with this Five of Pentacles, the way you're feeling it's really like um, a lot of self-pity and uh, left out. Why me? Why did this happen to me? which is understandable, right? So if you have your heart broken or someone did something really bad to you, you do have, you do get to that point where you just ask, why did this happen, you know? And um, it's, like I say, it's understandable, but there's also not a, a mind frame, a place that you want to be for long, right? You don't want to be stuck in that mind frame of self-pity, of why me? You, we we do have to maybe pass through that stage, but it you do have to move on, all right? So some of you may be stuck on that at the moment or have been there. And it's really about a time to move, a time to make a decision. With, with this karma here is, is the judgment card, like I said, in all the decks. But it's all about, uh, it's like a wake-up call, right? It's like a time to make a decision, a time to be able to move. And uh, some of you may have, already made a decision of not being with this person so that's why you're looking back and feeling why did they do this to me if it really ended badly but it's not about concentrating on that right so when you i i have said that before when you when you forgive someone it doesn't mean you forget but it means that you do release yourself from that prison of that past you, you need to release yourself for some of you you know it's a wake-up call this card here is a wake-up call is telling you Time to move on, wake up. Maybe some of you are still inside that relationship, and it's, but this is just to let you know, even if you are with the person, you can still be thinking, why me? And it's still not moving on. So it's a wake-up call here for you. 
whatever happened to you was a wake up call was a the red flag there for you to finally move and make a decision but of course it's up to you right so this is all about how to move on and we'll take some work okay some work on yourself the card here is showing some work on like I say, self-healing, in understanding why hap something happened to you. And even sometimes we don't know exactly and we don't understand straight away, but you will understand at some point. It still is a progress when you understand that you're growing, when you understand at least you know what you don't want anymore, at least you know what you accept and don't accept about how you're being, you were being treated, what are your limits, how to put boundaries, once you understand that, once you start making that work on yourself, so you, you make your goals and you understand what you don't want, what you do want, what you accept, where are your boundaries, where are your limits. Once you, once you organize that in your mind and on yourself, you grow and you allow yourself, you open the doors for someone who actually is aligned with your ideas, with your goals to come to your life. And I can see you here, group number three, really celebrating and being happy. All right, we in, in gatherings as well and being able to meet new people, being really happy. And it could be meeting someone when you finally go back into going out with your friends. Maybe you have been stuck in, in a relationship and did in and move away from some friends and didn't go out anymore for some of you. And um, you will have that chance once you started this work and, and on yourself. It, it, it may take some time to work on yourself, okay, with this card here, but there will be a progress, all right? This card here does show a progress and will show beautiful results. And like I said, maybe it, soon enough you'll be able to go out again and, and, and go to parties or uh, go out with your friends, like I say, and meet your family, friends that you have maybe a little, uh, maybe staying away a bit because of the relationship, but I see you being able to be really happy after this progress. Doesn't mean you have to complete any work because we never complete really work on ourselves. It's just about having progress, and uh, you you will see yourself much happier and going out and celebrating. Completely different mind frame from this card here. All right, so this is really you can see here the winter, how cold it is, how you would be feeling down. So some of you maybe are here at the moment, but like I say, it's a wake up call. The, whatever happened to you, maybe something really bad happened in this relationship that in case you didn't move on yet, or you did, but that was the wake up call. That was the red flag you needed to finally move and work on yourself. And look here, the summer, completely different here from this this time that maybe you are at the moment this progress the be this beautiful progress here the wake up call the work on yourself and finally being happy celebrating going out the summer here the sun you can see how it's warm and it's beautiful it's a completely different feeling from this card and don't let pride get in your way really feels here for me that maybe some of you like the the status of being uh, with someone right of being um, of not being a single really some of you don't like being single you like that status of or married or just in a relationship doesn't mean marriage it, like just being with someone and uh, don't let pride get in your way don't let the, the feeling that I don't want to be single I don't want to be alone um, get in your way of moving on because you you could be stuck here in this winter because even inside a relationship, even with someone, you could be alone, depending on how you, you know, the situation are. And then you just needed to make sure, is it worthy? Is it worthy to just have the titles, you know, going on at the moment? And, uh, or maybe what people will think. Nobody is really living the situation but yourself. Inside closed doors, we are the only doors, we are the only ones who know really what is going on. So don't let pride get in your way. Just think about yourself. And I say to all the groups, you have to put yourself first. And uh, it, like I say, it's going to take some work, all right? It's not going to be something just coming out of uh, falling in your lap and then one day you feel really happy and good about what happened because it does take time. It's not easy. Like I say, when we, ha we have our hearts broken, but it is possible. You know, it's a growing 
point in your life, it's a time for you to learn, like I say, what you want, what are your goals, what you don't want as well, and what you accept or not in someone, How, what you accept or not the way they want to, they treat you, what will be your limits, so you know now. So when you get to this point here celebrating and someone new come into your life, you will know exactly how to uh, put the boundaries and and uh, filter straight away the ones that are according to your goals and really align with what you want in someone. And you're going to be really happy, all right? So allow yourself to move away from the winter to the summer here, which is a really beautiful time here for you. Like I say, it can take some time because you need to heal. You need to concentrate on yourself, meditate, pray, whatever you believe on, hold on to that, right? So don't don't stay alone. Reach out to your friends, maybe your old friends that, like I said, you move away because of this person. Reach out to your family, some of you. That could be, like I said, again, away from them and and uh, not communicating because they didn't accept this relationship or you know your situation exactly but you will have time to celebrate once you start moving and working on yourself there will be some beautiful open doors here for you and this is one 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 as well this card represents so like um, making a wish so whatever is your wish for the future it's time to make it okay you can reach you can get there and it can be it can be really really beautiful i see you really happy celebrating with family friends and even someone completely new according to your goals according to what you really want on someone okay so concentrate on yourself definitely and uh, moving the mind frame from self pity and definitely don't let pride get in your way don't think that uh, you don't want to be single so you rather be with this person because you don't want anybody to judge you don't don't think about what other people will really think because like i say you're the one living it you know what is best for you okay once you put yourself first and concentrate on yourself and work on yourself here like i said it's gonna be really beautiful okay allow yourself to get here don't get stuck in this winter forever, okay? Allow yourself because you can be really happy and you may be stopping that. Don't stop yourself. Don't stop your happiness from happening, okay? Because it, it is really close. Like, you just need some work to be done, but you will get there, okay? I hope it resonated with you in some way, group number three. If it did, let me know. I know it's not always easy, but you can get there, okay? Just concentrate on yourself and you will be able to reach to that summer time as well all right so let me know if it did resonate in some way or if you wanted to send me a private message if you feel like you'd rather have a private message that's okay let me know i'm gonna be really happy to hear from you okay and thanks very much for watching group number three